Hi, it's Laura Lynn from TeddyBearAcademy.net, where you can learn how to make teddy bears the easy way with online streaming video classes. In this uh, Facebook Live, I'm going to go over some more teddy bear making tools. So maybe you've made a couple of teddy bears and you've decided that you really enjoy this hobby and you would like to have some more tools to make it easier to make your bears. I'm going to show you some of the other tools that I use when I'm making bears. And in the description of this video, there is a link to a blog post where I uh, listed these tools and also put links where you can buy the tools online if you can't find them locally. Now let me switch here. The first, these are No, we're not going to do it that way. We'll just do it this way. These are Fiskar scissors. I really like these when I'm cutting out my uh, mohair or real fur bears. They're easier to use, in my opinion. Let me check something here. They're easier to use than regular straight scissors because instead of opening your grip like regular scissors, they're cushioned and there's a spring here and you just squeeze and it makes it much easier. So my hands are uh, much easier. My hands don't wear out so easily. And then let me see here. And when you are making holes for your joints or your eyes in your teddy bears, maybe you're just using a sharpened chopstick because you didn't want to buy a bunch of tools when you first started making bears. Uh, and what I like to use after I learned that I love making teddy bears is I got an awl and it's tapered and that makes it much easier for piercing the fabric for when you need to make holes for your joints in your bears and then also for the eyes of the bear. And most of the needles I get, because I went over needles in the last video, and most of those needles I get at uh, my local uh, sewing shop or hobby shop. But there is one type of needle. These are uh, made by C.S. Osborne, and they're called straight round upholstery point needles. This comes in a pack of four, I believe, of different lengths. This is the shortest one. As you can see, it's very thick. And I use this needle for only one thing, but it's invaluable for that, and that's for inserting the teddy bear eyes. Now, most of my bear heads are uh, less, uh, smaller in diameter than this needle is long. So this is the, I just use this needle. If you have, if you make bigger bears, you might wanna use one of the longer needles in the kit. But these are available on Amazon if you can't get them locally or if you can't find them from your teddy bear making supplier. And again, the link that I have in the description of this video will show you uh, where you can get these needles. Now the next tool that I like to use it is a cotter pin turner or a cotter key. I have two sizes of these. I have, this is the mini cotter pin turner, and then I have a full size. And what this does is, or what you use this for, is for turning the cotter pins, when if you're using cotter pins for your teddy bear joints, and it makes it a lot easier to uh, turn the pins. And the teddy bear making suppliers will have these. I also tend to use this as a stuffing stick as well, uh, just because it's handy. If uh, But what I really love to use for a stuffing stick is this. It's called the, I think it's called the Ultimate Stuffer or Ultimate Stuffing Stick. And this is, this has made stitching noses for me so much easier because I am able to get the stuffing right where I want it. And I'm able to get it a lot firmer than I used to get it. And I bought this from a friend of mine, is Donna Metling. She uh, is, was a bear maker. She now owns Edinburgh uh, Imports, which is a bear making supplier here in the States. 
and she had this designed for her and she started selling these years ago. I love them. And she now has them available on her website and the link to that is on my blog post. This is just a regular slicker, slicker brush for uh, your dogs or your cats. And I use this all the time when I am uh, trimming my bears, if I'm, uh, it, when I'm brushing my bears. So I, you, you use a clean slicker brush. I don't use this on my dogs. This is only for bears. And I have this in a couple of different sizes. I have a much wider one for if I want to brush out the mohair before I start uh, drawing out my pattern and cutting. And then when I'm grooming my bear, I will often use this smaller one. Uh, I also use it when I'm uh, trimming the muzzle. And speaking of trimming the muzzle, everyone will develop their own favorite technique for trimming muzzles. But one of the tools that I like to use are these Ginger's curved embroidery scissors. Uh, and that's, I find them, I find it much easier to trim the muzzle because it kind of curves down around uh, the direction of the muzzle that I would like it to go, or that the fur is going. And there you have it. Those are some of my favorite bear making tools that I use for making teddy bears. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment below. Bye. <laughs>